Hey guys, what's up? It's Denise Salcedo and I am at Festival of Honor here in Madison Square Garden and hanging out with me right now is Kelly Klein. Kelly, it's so nice to meet you by the way. Nice to meet you, Denise. Thank you. So I got to know, you are what, only like less than 24 hours away from, I, can I say, the biggest show of your career here at Madison Square Garden for the G1 Supercard. I got to know, what are your emotions right now? I have been preparing for this and uh, I always just really get in the zone and get focused uh, but I did get emotional walking into the building um, it is huge it's a huge um, it's a huge opportunity and responsibility and I cannot wait to uh, just put on the best performance of my life for all of the fans that have come out so have you gone in and seen the stage already I did kind of walk through when I was trying to figure out get my bearings and figure out where to go so um, I, I did I did get to take a little peek. <laughs> How was that? Uh, it was awesome. It's um, no the, the chairs were empty at the time, so it'll be really exciting to see them full of all the Ring of Honor and New Japan fans. Well, then there's this giant banner right at the front of Madison Square Garden. How did you feel like seeing that and knowing I am on that show? And not only that, the only women's match in the main card. Two slots, two slots, and you're one of them. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. That's a good point. Um, yeah, I I think that I'm right now I, I probably need to go back out and take a look at that because I've been staying so focused on, uh, you know, I've been just laser focused on the, the training and just everything that goes into getting prepared for this um, that I, I think I might need to go out there and look at it again and just take a minute because I did, I saw it and it's kind of like, oh, that's cool. But it is really cool, right? <laughs> it's super awesome. I mean, I can't even imagine like the anticipation of you know knowing that you're coming out and performing on this show. So now I got to know, you have what did you learn from your last match against I I Iwatani? I have I have wrestled my Iwatani four times, and every single time we've I think we've both brought different things, but I have really found that um, with her. I need to I need to bring something she hasn't seen before. So when I said I've been laser focused and preparing, I have been in the dojo and training, and I've got some things that nobody's ever seen me do before. So that means Mayu does not know what's coming. I like that. I like that because yeah, you kind of already know how one another works. So you're just strategies against each other and whatnot. So that's super awesome. Now my last question for you is, what do you hope to see for the future of Women of Honor? I want to see all of the best women come through and I would love to see some of them find their home here because every time I get to face someone who challenges me, it makes me better and I think it makes them better. And when we can just keep bringing that to the table, um, it's going to elevate everybody. It's going to bring the whole division up and it's going to um, keep building the momentum that we've been working on for the last few years. So I, I want to keep seeing um, new faces and I want to see women who have experience that have been traveling around the world and maybe have not been here yet or haven't been here for a while. I want to see all those people and I want everybody to have an opportunity to bring their best so that you know we can all bring our best and, and just really create some some awesome wrestling the more the merrier i love it well thank you so much kelly for talking to me today and good luck and congratulations on tomorrow's show all right guys kelly klein everybody